This is a Galaxy S6 factory reset. This will remove all of the stored data from your phone. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. One of them is by accessing the settings from within the phone. As you can see, my battery is kind of low right now, so I would recommend that you plug your phone in. There's going to be a point where it reboots, and you need to make sure that you don't lose power. So you probably want to have it plugged in, or at least make sure that your battery is fully charged. If you open up your phone settings and select personal, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see an option that says backup and reset. And all the way at the bottom of that screen, there is a factory reset option. Now, as you can see, this will erase your Google account, your app data, device settings, downloaded apps, and so forth. So all of your email, contacts, text messages, uh, everything else is going to be removed from the phone. You can also perform a factory reset using a combination of buttons. So if you are locked out of your phone, for example, you can power it down and use this method, holding the volume up, the home button, and then pressing the power button. For this process, while holding the volume up and the home button down, you can then press and hold the power button. As you can see, I'm holding the volume up and the home button down, and when I click on the power button, we're going to wait until we see the boot logo appear on the screen. From this point, you can let go of all three buttons, and you'll be presented shortly with a menu right after the Android appears on the screen. Within this menu, you have a few different options. You can reboot the phone. Uh, you can select these options by using the volume keys. We have a reboot option, reboot to bootloader, and so forth. You want to scroll down until you get to the option that says wipe data factory reset. Use the power button to select your option. And then you'll have to scroll down to confirm that that is in fact the operation that you want to execute. Once again, you press the power button to confirm, and now you'll be able to see that the data is being wiped from the phone. Once the procedure is completed, you'll have an option to reboot the system. So go ahead and hit the power button one more time, and the phone will eventually reboot and power up. Once you see the boot logo, it is going to most likely be several minutes before your phone is entirely powered up. For this particular one, once I saw the AT&T logo appear on the screen, it was a good five and a half minutes before I got to the welcome screen. So once again, it's a good idea to have a power supply or at least make sure that your battery is fully charged before you attempt this procedure. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.